ruler 60 fourths and 16 Throughout your life, you're going to need to measure many things, and it's helpful if you fully understand how to use a ruler. We have an example of a 2-inch ruler up here that has been enlarged. It is divided into 60 fourths on the top and 16 on the bottom. You may be familiar with a ruler that looks like this. If you'll notice on the side that's marked into 16 there are 16 spaces from 0 to 1. There are 16 16 of an inch in each inch. If we come up to the spot that's marked with 60 fourths, you'll notice that the 60 fourths are much closer together than the 16 are. That's because there are 64 60 fourths in each inch, and you require many more spaces to measure in 60 fourths. Another commonly used measurement term is thousandths. It's used in machine shops, it's used with tools, and you need to be able to convert back and forth easily from the 1 64th, 1 32nd type of measurement to a decimal measurement. If one inch has 16 sixteenths, or 64 sixty fourths of an inch, it's easy to imagine that if the ruler were divided into thousandths, we would have one thousand thousandths in each inch. Just as in the sixteenths, we can divide the ruler into smaller portions. For example, a half an inch, we can divide the thousandths into smaller increments. If we look at a half inch in a ruler, it would be divided into half as many spaces, or five hundred thousandths of an inch. One way to get that number is to take the number one half and actually do the division of two into one. When we take two into one, we get point five zero zero, the number that stands for five hundred thousandths. You can continue to divide the ruler into smaller and smaller increments. A quarter of an inch or a fourth of an inch, which takes up only this much space, is equal to two hundred fifty thousandths or point two five zero. You can get that number by dividing four into one. Each time as we go down this chart, we're dividing the space into a half, as, half again as small space. We go from one inch to one half inch to one quarter inch. When we divide that space in half, we're talking about an eighth of an inch. Just as when we divide this number, 250 thousandths, it becomes 125 thousandths. An eighth of an inch is equal to 125 thousandths of an inch, or .125. As we continue down, we'll see a sixteenth of an inch becomes half as big, sixty-two and one-half thousandths of an inch. A thirty-second of an inch becomes thirty-one and one-fourth thousandths of an inch. A sixty-fourth of an inch, this very, very small little space, becomes fifteen and five-eighths thousandths of an inch. Another way to help you know how to convert is to know that you can always take the, the fraction form of the ruler, and you can do the division. For one eighth of an inch, I can divide eight into one, and I get point one two five. If I have point one two five, that corresponds to one hundred twenty five thousandths. If I take sixteen into one, I get point zero six two five, which is equivalent to sixty two and one half thousandths. I can do the divisions as long as I need to do the divisions. You can always divide the denominator of the fraction into the numerator of the fraction to find out the decimal value. If you can convert easily back and forth between the measurements like one sixteenth or one fourth into thousandths of an inch, you'll find you have a lot more success in measurement. I can't stress the importance for many occupations of having a thorough knowledge of a ruler. And rulers, as you can see here, come in all different sizes. I just have a few of them here. So study this lesson until you are sure that you know the ruler. Now, one problem with a fractional ruler, which I'm going to discuss, is this is a yardstick that goes from 1 inch to 36 inches. This is a half of a yard. This is a quarter of a yard. You can see it's called one yard, or 36 inches. Now, when you have a ruler like this, if you have one inch, and you keep on dividing it in half, divide that in half, becomes one half, and that equals 0.5. Then you have one quarter equals 0.25. One eighth equals... 0.125. 1 16th equals point, that's half of that, 0 0.625. As you can see, we're having problems now when we start getting into these 
numbers. If you get 1 32nd equals 0 0.03125. And 1 64th equals 0 0.01. Five six two five, and that's a. As you can see, this fractional system. It's very difficult. What is seventeen thirty seconds, or what is thirty five sixty fourths? They're difficult numbers to remember. Now it's easy to know one inch, a half, one quarter, one eighth. Those numbers like three. Fourths equals 0.75, 7 eighths is 0.875. But when you get to these other numbers, it's kind of difficult to remember all the numbers. And that's one of the big problems with a fractional ruler. But it's been used for many, many years. But you find generally the rest of the world is has metric. But we're still in the United States and we have to know this fractional ruler. We find a lot of things are done with it. We have the tape measures over here, the infractions. This is all infractions, these rulers. You have paper, 8.5 by 11, that's fractions. So you have to know the ruler, the fractional ruler. So study this page, know it completely, how, when you point to any part on the ruler, that you know what these fractions are. If you point over here, let's just use a point over here, and this is 18 and 5 eighths. You should be able to read that. It's essential that you know the rule. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.